Liam, first and foremost, congratulations. That's the first time MK Dons have won here and off the back of a, a couple of defeats. You, you, you needed that, didn't you? Yeah, I'm, you know, firstly delighted for the players and, and, the, and the staff. I see a lot of the hard work that goes into to training, to, you know, getting game plans prepared, to, you know, helping players progress. So I have to give huge credit to players and staff. You know, I think that, that speaks volumes around what we're about as people. You know, I think you, you see the honesty, the hard work, the desire to compete. You know, I think the, the commitment and, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm delighted with the result. I'm delighted, you know, the way the players have responded. Um, and at the same point, I didn't have any hesitations about it. You know, we, what we, I said it before, we've got a really strong group of characters. But, you know, uh, like you say, really honest, no ego in there. And, you know, you see that, I think, on the pitch tonight. And after going behind, after a period that was, there wasn't much in the first part of the game, after going behind, I thought the response uh, from, the second you, from the second you conceded the goal, from that point on, that response in that first half was superb. Yeah, I mean, we, we've done that before this season, you know, where we've conceded and responded in the right way. And I thought it took us a little while to get into it. I, you know, I thought we had a, a good start, but then they started to get on top of their press and... I think what, you, what, what we'll always find you, you know, that, that period of problem solving to understand how do we actually you know, impose our style on the game. And that's what we spoke around beforehand. And I thought we started to do that. You know, I thought that the middle, the middle chunk of the first half, I thought we really started to get on top uh, you know, and control the ball and actually work the overload centrally, which, you know, again, takes, takes a high level of bravery to do what the players did tonight in terms of under real high pressure, you know, go, go and take it in tight areas. And again, show, shows the quality that we've got within the group. So, yeah, like, really pleased. The referee, obviously not probably hugely popular here, but was allowing the game to flow, allowing challenges to come, and obviously the, the David Kasumu tackle, which we thought all thought was superb, slotted through for the second goal, and uh, you know a, a, again just it was free flowing. It, it gave your side the opportunity to keep moving and keep passing the ball. Yeah, I, th I think with the goals, that's probably the most pleasing thing. You know, we haven't we haven't quite had that quality in and around the attacking third, which obviously we spoke around after the game at the weekend. So. No, what we then do is we, we go, come on, let's be better. Let's, let's become better versions of ourselves. Let's improve as players. Let's work hard. Now, that, whether that's video work at the minute, because obviously we've got such a hectic programme, you know, we're, we're constantly trying to stretch the players to get better. Uh, and and that, that was probably the biggest pleasing. You know, if you look at Doncaster and Shrewsbury, that, that quality wasn't there. And you know, I thought you saw that, you know, terrific cross from Dan. Was it your aim in the second half to, to kind of kill the game a little bit? <laughs> you want me to be honest? Uh, no, we, we we spoke around it. We, I, th I think you know when you come to a place like this with a squad they've got, you know you you know it's you know you're gonna have to ride moments. You know you're gonna have to you know biggest thing for me be comfortable out of possession and be comfortable sucking up some pressure. And that that was probably the biggest pleasing you know thing tonight. I think you know, if you, if you want to do well in this league, it's being able to win football matches in different ways, which I've said before. I know, and you know I thought we showed that second half a real grit, a real you know desire to defend. And you know for me there's elements where I actually enjoy seeing that. I think you you know. Sp Speaks so much around in possession and what we do with the ball. That's why for me it was really nice to see second half. You know, we were compact, the distances were good, people were backing each other up. You know, winning first contact, winning second balls. You know, not allowing anything through us. And you know, I thought we did that really well second half. Was that the, the, the most, the, the best defensive performance you've seen from your side since you've been here? Uh, arguably, yeah, I, I'd, I'd say so. I think in terms of. You know, especially under pressure. I think that's the thing, you know, other times we press really well throughout the season, but when you look at the, the second half and the pressure we had to, you know, uh, soak up and, you know, the, how, the, how they switched it, how direct they were, you know, they're, they're really effective with it in terms of, you know, playing off Wyke and then getting runners off him. And I have to say credit, huge credit to, to everybody. You know, I think that's the, that's the key to it as well. We defend with everybody, we attack with everybody. And, you know, from the front, midfield line, back line to fishing goal, everybody did their job tonight and it was really pleasing to see. I know, I know, because we've had the conversation so many times, never too high when you win and never too low when you lose, but there must be some sense of satisfaction when, if you have promotion aspirations as a head coach, you come to a side like Wigan, a, promote, a potential promotional rival to, to win a game like this, and MK Dons have never won here before, so this must be a little bit special. No, it feels great. I think, uh, you know, and rightly so, the players you know, should enjoy that victory. There are some tired legs in there, that's for sure, and some tired heads, and... That's always the challenge before the game. You know, we have a game plan, but can you execute it? Have you got the discipline, the focus, you know, the, the togetherness to go and execute that game plan? And, and the guys did that tonight. So they 100% they should enjoy tonight. Obviously, we've got a long trip back. I think what's really important now is, you know, bang straight back in to go again Saturday. And that, that's League One football, right? The intensity there, the volume of games. Uh, you know, be, we might have to make some changes at the weekend, depending on how people respond physically from, you know, the demands tonight, because they're extremely high. Uh, and again, like I say, another really tough game on Saturday felt like it could have been nervous from from certainly the, the away end but didn't give up any chances in that second half and that's I think that's probably the biggest the biggest takeaway from this isn't it yeah definitely definitely I 
I think you, and that, you said it. That credit to the players for how you know how well they stick together. The, you know the distances, the the communication between them. The you know if someone doesn't quite get there or makes a mistake, the second man, the third man's there to back him up and cover him. And yeah, you know I thought the second half we defended the penalty area really well. I joked with Peter Keogh so last week and said that he should be aiming for getting 10 goals with the amount of times that he pops up in the penalty area. I mean, he's there all the time, isn't he? He's a real goal threat all the time. Uh, I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, he didn't do it enough at Shrewsbury, I don't think. You know, if you look at Doncaster and Shrewsbury, and that's why, you know, we sat down actually on uh, yesterday and went through his clips and we, we pulled a lot of you know, moments out where we're attacking down the opposite side and he's actually outside the box. And I think that's why he's obviously quite happy with a goal tonight because... Again, it's another great example of you know, a player really wanting to work, really wanting to get better and improve himself, and you know, that's the result tonight. Um, I have to say he's been, he's been terrific, and yeah, he, he has to challenge himself to score more goals and be more clinical. And on the other side, Daniel Harvey with, with two assists. That's, that's terrific work from the wing-backs tonight. Yeah, and I, th I think it's now about sustaining the level. I think it's, you know, Dan, Dan's been terrific this season so far, and you know, he's going to some really dangerous areas and arguably should have more assists. And, Again, he's, he's another one that, you know, he's done a lot of work on that in training. A lot of individual work around, you know, creating, you know, opportunities to cross and then the quality on it. So, again, that, it's not, there's no secret to success. It's, you know, hard work, studying and, and constantly looking to evolve and get better.